hello all so in this video we will discuss this question so the question is a length 8 this is 8 sequence is given by this obviously this is the origin and this is 8 point sequence so 0 to 7 and it has 8 point dft of course x of k now the question is saying that without computing idft determine the sequence y of n whose 8 point dft is given by this some relation is given between y of x and x of k y of k and x of k okay so first of all the point to be noted is that just see the question carefully over here we are having w n means n is 4 and the whole question is saying about 8 point dft okay so our first task is just write this just we have written this expand just substitute the value of w that is total factor and the target is to convert it into 8 point dft so what we will do just we are multiplying this by 2 that is both numerator and denominator by 2 so over here we are left with now 8 and it is our general that expression e raised to minus j 2 pi by n the general expression so clearly now n is 8 and 6k x of k so this will the minus sign is appearing so clearly it is a time shifting property and we have x of n minus 6 circular shift okay and it is now 8 point dft we have converted this relation into 8 point dft so just shift it we know circular uh, sorry time shifting very well okay so this time shifting circular time shifting we apply and we get we have to shift all this so first after one shift this 4 will appear here and second shift 3 will appear here so after 6 shift 1 2 3 4 5 6 2 will appear at the first so 2 is appearing first and rest of the sequence from 2 is as it is so that's all now let's move towards new property called circular time shift so first of all sorry circular time reversal so first of all we know time reversal but what this circular time reversal now we have discussed it in very much detail about why we are including circular term in this dft okay, so i am not going to it again so simply i am writing the property but just i am doing some warm up just as done in circular time time shifting okay just we are doing some warm up some warm up questions to get a handy with this time reversals that is circular time reverse okay so this is denoted by this the very first point okay same as that of time shifting it is x of 0 when n equals to 0 obviously when n is 0 x of minus 0 is 0 only but when n is other than 0 that is between 1 to n minus 1 we get x of minus n plus n that is minus of small n plus of capital n now what does it indicate it indicates that just we have to reverse the samples about point zero that is time reversal of an n point sequence is obtained by reversing samples about zero on circle what does it mean we will visualize it so let's say this is circle so it is not looking circle but it is circle this is point x of 0 x of 1 let's say we have zero to four that is five point okay five point sequence so what we have to do we have to shift it so so this is suppose x of n then to get x of minus n what we have to do just sh shift this point about origin that is one will go here four will go here two will come here and three will go there clear x of 0 will remain at its position just x of 4 will be here x of 1 will be here x of 3 will be here and x of 2 will be here okay. and one point to be noted that just 
the number of samples that is 1 2 3 4 5 are odd but this sequence is called circularly even sequence clear sorry even sequence okay now let's discuss circularly odd sequence now it will be easy to visualize the circularly odd sequence also So let me write for first even sequence that x of minus n is nothing but x of n minus n provided the value of n is between 1 to n minus 1 only because x of 0 is as it is just we have to shift the samples other than 0 okay just we are shifting this to only about this 0 point clear so we are getting this this is x of minus n clear to be specific n is 5 over here so we can write it 5 and similarly for you can visualize like this only that the number of samples here are odd 1 2 3 4 5 whereas in circularly odd sequence we have number of samples as even so i am not drawing this visual diagrams i am writing just equation that is x of n equals to minus x of minus n and it can be written as minus x of n minus n that is what we have to do we have, we have to take the negative sign that's all okay we have to shift also and we have to take negative sign clear so all this will be clear by taking one example so suppose let's say we have some x of n and its x of k is this is specific for circularly odd sequence so it will have even number of samples let's say 4 so if someone say to find this x of minus n then what we will do the dft of x of minus n okay so let's say it is x of minus k and it is nothing but 4 will be as it is just we have to shift this and this 0 will also be as it is so in fact we have applied something that is property we i what i said i said that x of minus n has dft x of minus k n so here 4 n is so now let's write the property which we have already applied so writing the property what property says that if x of n and x of k are n point dft then is nothing but x of minus k n clear now since we know from periodic property that x of n plus n is x of n and x of k plus n is x of k so if we apply it over here what we will get we will get x of n minus n okay just we are replacing this equation that is from this what we can write x of minus n can be written as x of minus n that is minus small n plus capital n so i am writing positive first that's it this can be written like this and similarly x of minus k that is minus capital x of minus k n can be written as x of n minus k that's all clear so we can write this also that x of n minus n has dft pair x of n minus k this thing clear so the conclusion is this first point and second point and this we already applied over here okay that is x of minus n is having x of minus k so just we are replacing 
होल सीक्वेंस बाय माइनस साइन ओके तो माइनस के विल बी फोर प्लस जे टू जीरो एंड माइन सॉरी ओवर हियर इट इज प्लस ओवर इट इज माइनस क्लियर 